we live in a dynamic, interconnected world. Amidst all of this change, how can we as individuals navigate the complexity to have an impact and create a better world? One thing we can do is learn to practice systems thinking. Systems thinking is a way of looking at the world that recognizes the interconnectedness of everything around us. Exploring this complexity is a lot easier when we have tools that can help us, tools like the sustainability compass. Much like a regular compass, the sustainability compass can help us navigate a path, in this case, to creating a more sustainable future and sustainable decision-making. By thinking about issues through each perspective of the sustainability compass and how they're interconnected, we can better understand the big picture of the issues that surround us and our world. The first compass point is nature, the natural systems on which all life depends. Thinking from a nature perspective entails thinking about things like natural beauty, plants and animals, waste management, biodiversity, conservation, and ecosystems, just to name a few. Many people think that nature and sustainability are closely aligned. In fact, they might even think they're synonymous. The sustainability compass, however, reminds us that no matter how beautiful and important nature is, if we want to create a more sustainable world with humans in it, we need to think about our human systems and how they interact with nature. So the next compass point is about the economic systems on which our societies depend. From an economic perspective, you might think about things like jobs, production and consumption, businesses, scarcity, innovation, and industry. The economic systems in our world are closely tied with those of our society, the S in the compass, our collective human systems and institutions. From a society perspective, you might think about things like governance, schools and education, culture, social norms, human rights, and legal systems. In addition to economy and society, the third set of human systems the compass encourages us to consider is that of the W, of well-being. Well-being is all about the individual, about individual health, sense of safety and security, quality of life, personal fulfillment, empowerment, and happiness. Well-being is different from society because it's focused on one person and an individual perspective, where a society looks at the collective. One very special thing about the sustainability compass is that no people will look at it in the same way. While there are some overarching distinctions between the compass points, even talking about one idea or subject, people can look at that in many different ways. Let's take the example of land. What do you think of when you think of land? Does one compass point come to mind for you first? Well, land is actually related to all of the compass points and your perspective might be based on your unique viewpoint and lived experience. Perhaps your first instinct is to think about it from a nature perspective. You might wonder where the land is geographically located, what plants are on it, and what animals. Or perhaps you start to think from an economic perspective. Whose property is it? What type of investments have people made in that land? What industry or jobs are connected to that land, like farming? Another possibility is to think about it from a societal perspective first. Maybe you're curious about the communities that live on that land. Do they have a lot of history there? What is the culture of those people? What services and social institutions do they have? You might even first think about land from a well-being perspective. Does that land have clean air and an enjoyable climate? Does it have natural beauty that brings people joy? There are many possibilities for how people might view land and all of these perspectives are important. That's where the idea of systems thinking comes in. The compass helps us to understand these different perspectives and to make connections that give us a broader perspective on how our world works. You can use the sustainability compass to explore almost any question, topic, or challenge. All you need to do is use the compass to find a path to sustainable decision-making and sustainability. PATH is an acronym to help you remember a four-step process. P, pick your topic. What are you exploring? Whatever you'd like. A, add ideas. Write on your compass on a piece of paper. What are related questions, observations, and thoughts for each compass point. The T stands for think analytically. What connections can you make between those ideas? And the H encourages us to have another look, step back and think, what do I notice when I look at all of these compass point connections? Let's look at this through an example related to land. So first things first, pick your topic. We're going to explore in this case, why is land important? And you can see it's just a piece of paper with a compass in the middle broken into four compass points. And then we start on our next step. A, add your ideas. So here you might just go ahead and one compass point at a time, think for a minute to brainstorm. 
what are some of the questions, the ideas, and the experiences, anything that comes to mind for each of the compass points for you? Write it down. Next, we want to think analytically. Thinking analytically is all about making connections. So in this step, you're going to draw arrows between interrelated ideas. Some of those connections might be within a compass point, like the natural beauty of land might impact people's happiness on that land and why they think it's important. Or if a land is used for agriculture, it might be important for people because that's where they get their income. Some connections might be between compass points, like the oxygen that comes from plants on land can impact people's safety and their health. Or the number of cultural sites on land can impact whether or not they're able to have construction because the land is important to one person for their cultural site and another for construction. This could lead to conflict or an opportunity to build something to celebrate that culture. As you go through and think analytically, you might find that you have lots of connections that come to mind, and that's okay. Using the compass can help you to recognize the vast complexity and interconnectedness of the world, but represent it in a relatively easy and understandable visual. Once you've gone through making all these connections, you want to move on to the last letter in path H and have another look. What are the connections that you see? What is this world that you've made sense of? You might even be able to recognize some very connected ideas. So the sustainability compass can help you from your perspective as you explore this, find the most important parts of the system that you might wanna explore more, think about, or even target for change. As you can see, the compass can help us think from many different perspectives. Whether you want to explore a global community or personal issue, the sustainability compass can help you find the path to sustainable decision-making and building a more sustainable world. Where will it take you? 